Hey guys, welcome back to Ryan's TV. Today we are at Minami Funabashi Station, which is in the Chiba Prefecture. It's my first time to visit here, so kind of excited to explore the town. Let's go. Oh, sweet. Already I found the IKEA over there. It's not that complicated at all. This place get renewed recently, so it's super clean. Oh, I found a map. Let me explain what kind of station this is. So this Minami Funabashi is a unique town. As you see, we have an IKEA and also next to IKEA, we have Danchi, which is the apartment complex. It is huge. Over thousands of people are living here. Also, big shopping mall, Lala Port, and horse racing place. In the apartment complex, there is a nursery, big park, elementary school, and also junior high school too. Well, if you live here, without riding on the plane, you can do so many things. And also, if you ride on the train, Disneyland is close to. Yeah, that way. There are many construction right now. This place will be much cleaner. I heard that place just opened last month, so this place definitely will be much cleaner. And as you see, there are huge apartment complex, the new one too, so will be a big town. And here we go, we arrived to Akira. By the way, Akira in Japanese called Ikea. Ikea. A beautiful day. It is a bit windy though. So today we got the 10 US dollar which is 1,400 Japanese yen. As you guys know, IKEA is a really popular place for furniture. However, they have a really nice, good and cheap restaurant as well. And uh, I want to show you guys what kind of food we can get with $10 in Japan's IKEA. So why not? Let's do it! So let's go! By the way, I'm at the park in front of IKEA. This place, there are so many factories I believe, so it's a bit noisy, but a really peaceful place. I love it. Okay, the main entrance is this way, so let's keep walking. Oh, I guess that's the restaurant. By the way, IKEA everywhere, it's huge. Recently, we have an IKEA in Shibuya and Shinjuku too, but uh, that place is really small. So if you want to have this kind of restaurant, uh, you need to come to the countryside. Oh, there are the terraces. Of course, they are selling the furniture, but uh, yeah, it's a good display. And IKEA flags. Love the IKEA flag. It is really colorful and beautiful. Feels like it's from the foreign country's store. It's really rare to see the flags in the store in Japan. Well, it's really rare to see this kind of big stores in Japan too, though. All right, let's go straight to the restaurants. Today, I don't have any plan for buying furniture. So the restaurant is in the second floor, Sweden restaurant. So let's go. Hmm, lavender. I love the smell of the furniture at IKEA. Sorry, IKEA. Oh, I used to have that table, 799 Japanese yen. Really cheap. So that's a place to watch furniture, but there is a shortcut always in IKEA store. It's my first time to be here, but I know. All right, here we go. Today we have a tight budget, which is 10 US dollars. So let's see. Oh, wait, now they have a spicy food fair. That looks pretty good. Oh, but I think this one, I have tried it in Osaka. It was pretty good though. So let me try something else. Nice, there is a hand sanitizing place. Also, <laughs> this place for Halloween. Yep, Halloween is coming. Excited. So let's choose the food. Oh 
my goodness, they have so many different kinds of veggies and fruits. Oh, look at this belly belly cheesecake. 400 Japanese yen. Looks pretty good. Oh my goodness, look at this. It's a Halloween version. The donuts with eyes. <laughs> kind of scary. I gotta try these too. All right, so this place is perfect. Let's sit down here. Right away, we can see the beautiful sky from here. Loving it. So this is what I got. Look at this. That's a lot. And can you believe that? It's 10 US dollars only. Yep. So let me explain what I got here. The first, it's a drink, but not only one drink. It's a fountain drink. So after this, I can get a coffee too. Let me show you guys what we have at the fountain drink later. And then also, I got the black cat's curry. So those are the cat's curry. Usually cat's is made by pork, but this one is made by the plant. I think it means veggies. Hmm. Price is 590 Japanese yen. Oh, I thought I forgot. By the way, this fountain drink is only cost 120 Japanese yen. Wow, that's a good deal. <laughs> And here we go. Yes, the Halloween donuts. <laughs> well, it is kind of scary because we have an eyeball on top, but uh, as long as it tastes good, I don't care. It smells good. Yeah, that's my dessert. I don't know. For you guys, donuts is it dessert? Uh, for me, yes. Uh, maybe that could be breakfast too, though. <laughs> anyway, whatever I eat sweet, it works. And uh, also, got the Salmon! Yes! Whenever I came to IKEA, I feel like that I want to eat the salmon. So the 120 Japanese yen for the fountain drink, the 590 Japanese yen for the plum curry, and the Halloween donuts. This one is 220 Japanese yen. And salmon marinade. This one was expensive. 490 Japanese yen. And all together, 1420 Japanese yen. Today's Japanese yen's rate is about 140 Japanese yen, so yes, it is with $10. All right, so let me start with plant cut curry. It's my first time to try. Interesting. Oh, by the way, it's a sparkling raspberry soda. Come back. Well, technically, they had the drug beer too, and then glass beer. Can you take a guess how much it is? <laughs> it's only 200 Japanese yen, which is steel. Yeah. I really wanted to order, but today's budget is $10, so maybe next time. It looks like katsu, which is the pork, but uh, it is not, right? So let me try it. Itadakimasu. Mmm. Mmm. Actually, it's very, very good. Well, now, of course, I know that's veggie, so I can tell the difference between the pork and the veggie one. However, if someone tried to place one piece and the pork curry, definitely I wouldn't realize that. Yeah. And it is healthier too. I know that some people cannot eat pork because of some religion or some allergy. Because of that, maybe they can't enjoy the Japanese food, but this way, they can enjoy that. <laughs> Sweet! I love the idea. And also, there are broccoli, carrot, a lot of veggies inside. Mm. Uh, speaking of the curry, it's not that spicy. I prefer the spicy one, but uh, this mild taste, maybe kids can eat it too, so I believe that's why they have it. Oh wait, I totally forgot. Hey guys, welcome back to Ryan's TV. I'm Ryan saying again. Please don't forget to check my Instagram and Twitter account too. Alright, so let's keep eating. Let's squeeze. It's when I was in the States studying English, at that time, uh, as you guys know, we don't have a sound of R. So for us, 
you know, L and R are pretty similar sound. My friend was working at the Japanese restaurant and he had a so hard time hearing lemon and ramen. Ramen. <laughs> you know, ramen is a noodle thing, the Japanese popular thing, right? They sound like a lemon for us because we don't have an R sound. Does it make sense for you guys? <laughs> well, if you think it does make sense, that's okay. It does make sense for us. <laughs> anyway, if you had that kind of similar experience, please let me know in the comment. By the way, in Japanese, salmon called salmon. salmon. Yeah, it's katakana coming from the English word. Look at this. Actually, the IKEA salmon is pretty big. Yeah, I know. It would be perfect with beer. But it's okay. <laughs> Itadakimasu. Mm. <laughs> I don't know what kind of sauce it is. This guy makes the salmon even better. I love salmon originally. This sauce is kind of sweet. The lemon sourness perfectly matches with this something sweet sauce. <laughs> Maybe I need to Google it. Well, one sad thing is that uh, you will finish it really quick, so. Mm. It's okay. Worthy. Oh. So before going to the dessert, let's go get the next one. So let me explain what we have at the fountain. We have iced coffee, lemon tea, almond tea, green tea, and uh, Elsa flower, raspberry, pear, lemon, lingo berry, Pepsi, orange, and water. Sparkling water. Nice. And here is the coffee machine. We have a regular coffee, cafe latte, and a cappuccino. So let me get cafe latte here. <laughs> Let's eat dessert. Yep, the Halloween donuts. I don't know if you guys can call this dessert. Maybe not, but it's okay. <laughs> yes, it is scary. <laughs> we got the eye contact. It's kind of awkward, but uh, I still eat though. <laughs> Oh shit. I love drinking coffee while I'm eating sweets. I usually place the sugar inside, but uh, yeah, whenever I eat sweets, I don't because it is already sweet enough. <sighs> Sorry. So speaking of the taste, the eyeball part, it was a uh, chocolate. Yeah, just a chocolate. <laughs> That's pretty much I tasted. And then the blue one. Hmm. Well, not sure, but I believe it's a blueberry. Should be. Mm, tastes like a blueberry. And then, <laughs> looks blue too, so if it's not, uh, <laughs> let me know. <laughs> Halloween is coming, huh? Well, I know that already many places started the Halloween event, but I haven't been in Disneyland neither the Universal Studios Japan. Well, I was planning to go back to Osaka for shooting the Halloween event of Universal Studios Japan, but uh, yeah, couldn't. Well, I want to visit the Disneyland too, you know. Well, as you guys know, I love Disney and then uh, I believe Disney already having a Halloween event. Oh, well, well, I saw the Disney World Florida one, and then they already have a not so scary Halloween party. Uh, I'm not sure about Tokyo, I have to check that. But anyway, uh, definitely, I want to make some video. And uh, if you have an idea where I should go, please let me know in the comment so that uh, uh, I can think about it. <laughs> Arigato. Well, it's really fun to stay here in the sunny day, but I think in the rainy day would be really fun too. Oh, by the way, we have an IKEA in Osaka too, and that place is in the super countryside. However, there is a really beautiful ocean view as well. If you have the police check my this video. If I were living around here, I would come over here every day. 
especially when I was a student, definitely I would. Oh, loving it. It's a really nice atmosphere and a few people are here. And here is a place to return. Going to over there. They have a kid space to eat too. Nice. Alright, let's go to check the furniture a little bit. Oh my goodness, look at that cat pillow. <laughs> so cute. 1,499 Japanese yen. In Japan, those kind of low tables are really popular because we usually sit down on the ground, especially the single apartment is really small so that we don't have a space to place the chair. <laughs> Look at that. We have chabdai. Maybe not. Uh, it's called moksboda. I thought that's a chabdai. You know, the angry man. <laughs> oh, look at that. I like this plant. Looks like an enchanted rose from the Beauty and the Beast. Price is 1799 Japanese yen. Only for the outside, though. You can place whatever you like inside. Oh, I heard this one is so popular in Japan now. It's kind of like a kitchen shell. You can place a lot of ingredients. Uh, those are the shell and also there is a lid, but this one is not a regular lid. It's manaita, manaita, which is a cupboard. As you guys know, many Japanese houses are really small. So those kind of compact furnitures are really popular. Price is 4,490 in Japanese yen. Mm. Looks good. You can move it really easily. Very useful. Nice. My goodness, look at this chair. Looks pretty good. Uh, wanted to have this kind of desk. However, it would be too big for my room though. I think. Now we are at the kids and the baby section. Entertaining. They have a cafe in the first floor too. Veggie dog 80 Japanese yen, soft cream 50 Japanese yen, drink 120 Japanese yen. Yep, those are really good price too. Ooh, that was really good. I love IKEA, especially when I was in the state. I really loved IKEA. However, I don't use it much in here, Japan because they don't have a really good delivery service compared to other places their delivery service is expensive so well yeah if you have a car definitely it's a really really nice place to buy the furniture however if you don't have a car probably uh yeah you want to use the online shopping because eventually delivery fee could be much expensive than the furniture you buy <laughs> yeah sad fact but I still love their restaurant though. And the other side of Minami Funabashi Station, we have Lala Port. So that's the entrance of Lala Port. Oh, wait, look at that. That's Keibajo, which is the horse racing place. Wow, it's huge. Interesting. I only been to horse racing place once. Or I forgot when. But now I realize that it's huge. Wow. I can't really shoot the video inside the Lala Port, so let me show you guys a little bit how it looks like. It's a pretty big shopping mall. So many stores inside. There are three floors and we are over here. So let's keep walking. There are cinemas too. Lalapur is a popular shopping mall in Japan. They have a pretty similar style. It's more like a European style compared to Japan's shopping mall. It's like there is a big street in the middle and there are many shopping streets. That's how it looks like. We have it in Osaka too. Very nice atmosphere. Hmm. 
really bright. There is a theater also in front of the theater, amusement park. So many claw machines and uh, gaming. Also, so many gacha phones. Wow, that's just so many. And uh, also, we have outside too. Nice. Wow, it's a big shopping mall. Also, there is a kura. Kaiten zushi, kaiten zushi. Conveyors restaurants. Well, I think this waterfall is bigger than the regular waterfall. I believe so. Yeah. So many restaurants in the stores. This is the smallest vending machine I've ever seen. Because of the limited space. <laughs> so cute. Krispy Kreme, Egg Stings, Goncha, and Saizelia. Also McDonald's too. They have pretty much everything. Came back to the park. Oh my goodness. Look at the sky. So beautiful. Love the sunset. Loving it. Really nice atmosphere. Oh my goodness, it's super windy. Hopefully you guys can hear me well. This was my first time to visit Minami Funabashi, Chiba Prefecture. But I already love it. It's a really nice place. Well, actually, I was born and raised in Osaka, but my dad is from Chiba Prefecture and my mom is from Fukuoka Prefecture. So I should be familiar with this place, but the uh, only place that I'm familiar with when I was a kid was the Disneyland. So I'm not sure. Maybe I should explore more and more. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Big thank you to all of the Patreons because of you guys' support. I can keep making videos. If if you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to hit the like button and there are more adventures and Japan travel updates are coming too. So if you haven't, don't forget to subscribe so that you can find my channel much easier. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. So see you in the next video. See you no ciao. <laughs> Have a great day. Bye bye. This place is about 40 minutes by train from Tokyo Station. About an hour from Shibuya and Ikebukuro. It's really nice place. If I were living in the apartment, I would go to IKEA every day because if you ordered only the fountain drink, 120 Japanese yen, you can have coffee and drinks as much as you want and then you can stay forever. Well, maybe they will kick me out, but uh, yeah, <laughs> it's okay. I love this place. Anyway, see you in the next video. Say no, ciao. Have a great day. Bye bye.